All right, so in this problem, we are given a formula, and we want to see which of the following statements is true for our formula. Now, because the question is referring to negative and positive values of our x and y, so we are going to choose the tipping points of the positive and negative values, which is going to be when x equals 0 or when y equals 0. All right, so let's find these two points and plot them on our graph to see our linear function. So when x equals 0, let's plug that in. We have 0 minus 2 equals negative y. So we have negative 2 equals negative y. Now we can divide negative 1 on both sides, and we have 2 equals y. So our first point is going to be 0 up 2. It's going to be right over here. And now let's find our second point. When y equals 0, we have x minus 2 equals 0. Now we can add 2 on both sides, and we have x equals 2. So our second point is going to be 2 up 0, which is right over here. And again, remember that our axes are x and y. All right, so now that we have these two points, let's plot them. And this is our linear function. Now let's read our options. If x is greater than or equal to the negative 2, negative 2, then y is negative. So let's go to x is negative 2 right over here. So when x is greater than or equal to negative 2, then y is negative. Well, we can tell here that the y is going to be positive up until this positive 2, and then, and then the y will change to be negative. So a is incorrect because it is not always negative. All right. Now let's read answer b. If x is greater than or equal to 2, then y must be negative. Well, let's go to x is 2, which is right over here. And if x is going to be greater than or equal to 2, then the, then the y must be negative. Well, we do see here that the y's are all negative once the x is greater than 2. But when x equals exactly 2, then the y is 0 and not negative. And therefore, b is also incorrect. All right, so now let's move on to c. If x is less than or equal to 0, y must be positive. Now let's go to x equals 0. That's right over here. And if x is less than 0, then the y must be positive. Well, this seems to be true because even when x is 0, then the y is positive. And as the numbers on the x-axis become smaller, the y's become bigger. And therefore, the y's are always going to be positive and C will be the correct answer. Let's see why D is incorrect. If X is less than or equal to 2, Y is not positive. Let's go to X is positive 2 right over here. And then Y is not positive. That means that it is negative. So when the values of X are less than 2, then the Y's are actually all on the positive side, all on the positive side of the Y axis, and they are not negative. And therefore, D is incorrect, and C will be our final answer.